kind of you know play around with our with our AMA setup. It's something I'm actually up in the uh, sort of. It's not a basement, but it looks kind of like a basement. I'm in the area that we normally. It's actually upstairs. It's upstairs. Yeah, yeah. It's actually upstairs. Uh, I'm in that area right now where we normally shoot our AMAs. And yeah, you know, shooting out on the stage is a little, a little more kind of show production. You know, what do you, what do you think, Sir Sweetness? Yeah, it's, you know, different scenery. Yeah, different so. scenery, different vibe, different energy. You know, we want to try to switch it up for you guys every now and then as we're kind of getting into our year coverage of these AMAs. We're trying to find ways so we can get kind of creative with it. So that that's my yeah, that's my. Thank you. Well, I hope I hope we don't run out of ways to get creative with it because we just <laughs> we're, going, we're really going. Oh, this is a big this is a big building. We can we can shoot in all we can shoot in all sorts of places in this parking building. lot. Yeah, next parking week, lot next week. Exactly. Exactly. All right. We'll all right let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Cool. So um, yeah, been a bit quiet with uh, kind of content releases this week. A uh, number of reasons for that. You know, we we on our our end just kind of giving you an update. Have been really going hard with investor meetings. So we've been having a lot of investor meetings. You know, existing ones. Uh, new potential ones, you know, strategic partnerships, etc. So that's that's really kind of positive, and you know, we we're getting really good support. Uh, people are really kind of loving what we're doing and, and see the kind of global appeal of it. Um, so it's always good to have that, you know, reconfirmation around that stuff. So that a lot of that's been going on behind the scenes. You know, as we mentioned last time, uh, we've been working on kind of you know relationship building uh, with Amazon and Meta. Um, so we've been doing a lot of preparation a lot of recording uh, a lot of kind of content to, to present to them around kind of our capability around the game around the hooligans and you know that that doesn't mean to say we're going to have a formal relation a uh, formal partnership with them as of yet but you know we like i said last time it's important to showcase put your put your best foot forward and develop relationships because you never know at what point you know they could come in use so that's really positive uh, and thankfully you know we have we have good supporters in, in in lots of these really powerful organizations uh, in entertainment and technology and beyond. So that's always a helpful thing. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, this is, I think I can tell you this, but uh, Mike Mitchell came in yesterday to check on us, really kind of loved what we're doing. He's a good friend of uh, Kevin and Colin, really loved the hooligans and, you know, was massively interested in kind of Web3. So that was cool. We, we definitely kind of showcased our stuff. If you don't know who that is, uh, definitely check him out on IMDb. You know, very acclaimed uh, director and producer in the space. I know you're a big fan, right, West? Oh, absolutely. West, West was in the corner pitching all his movie and TV show ideas. Yeah, and, and that's that's kind of what I I it's what my background is much more in. You know, I, I learned kind of you know certainly web web three on the fly and then you know and then when it comes to or at least it, it was something that when i had gotten into crypto and everything i got really into that but you know understanding and learning the world of nfts was something that i i kind of had to consume and get better at but man when it came to ip creation shit like that that was what i was really interested in and kevin i mean everybody at the studio just already kind of brings that that acumen and kind of that presence to this project and so yeah it's been a lot of fun kind of yeah dialing exactly and, 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 and it's, you know how we're gonna pitch that right yeah and it's, and it's really reassuring to a guy like his caliber you know it's so so humble as well and it's so kind of well yeah, absolutely, in the absolutely. Space. And, you know what what's he been involved with juice juice bigelow shrek alvin and the chip yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 movie yeah. trolls lego movie like you know yeah. ants so yeah, you know absolutely. that that was really kind of reassuring as well, and and, and absolutely and a lot always a lot of confirmation about you know hooligans really, really being something unique, really being something with a lot of character and and you know character that we can develop and showcase in in many ways. So you know I, I think we really kind of hit the nail on the head with this character, and you know we could have gone with soldiers, we could have gone with I don't know dogs or whatever, but. I think I think we really I think we really uh, kind of hit the nail on the head with this character. I agree. And, and I agree. The character. Well, it's um, one of the things, but, you know, I'll, I'll say something about that that I think is interesting. We've been exploring quite a bit lately, as far as you know, on the game design side of things, as you know, Skyhopper. As we try to think about, you know, just just understand like fundamentally, you know, what are the what are the what are the fundamental surfaces that we feel we could really innovate on and really bring something new to the space in gaming or you know, in IP creation and. We do feel that underneath everything, when it comes to our storytelling ability, our character design ability, the attitude and humor that we're bringing to the brand, that's that's one of the things that we feel sets us apart the most. And then obviously yeah. also, guys, all of all of you in this community are, are such a massive value proposition and add to the entire you know space. Like the fact that when you get into this world, you become part of this community. 
I think we were just on on the this Twitter Spaces yesterday with Jonah Blake, where he's like, "Yeah, your guys' community is amazing. You got you have amazing people in here, and yeah, you know, it's it's something we really are immensely grateful for. But uh, yeah, we just feel like you know, getting into that world and trying to understand from an IP perspective what we can sort of expand on there. It's, it's things that we're always kind of talking about and exploring. Yeah, and that's something that. You know, I, I, you know, no, not not just being because Mike Mitchell came in yesterday, but it's something that you know right. we're always working on in the background is is the kind of feature side of MPH, and Definitely. you know, I sat down with uh, with with Kevin. I don't know if you've met Kevin Johnson yet, but we're going to introduce you to him. And Kevin Johnson's part of the studio. Uh, again, he's a he's a claim, acclaimed uh, director in the animation space. Um, actually, got a movie on Netflix right now. Check it out. It's called Dog Gone Trouble. Um, you know, we've got a couple of dogs gone trouble with us as well on the call with uh, Rabbit, Ricardo, and Cole. So check that out on Netflix. Is it still on Netflix, right? He's over. He's over here chuckling. Oh, chuckling. Trouble. He's over here chuckling about that. Dog gone trouble. trouble. Yeah, I never quite understand why. <laughs> I never quite understood that trouble. So um, yeah, I sat down with Kevin yesterday, and he was, it was, it was, it was doing a script reading for me. Um, and you know, there was a number of you who were actually in the script. Uh, the yeah, the, the opening scene. Uh, yeah, so Radix, uh, by the way, you, in the current version of the script, you are in the opening scene. Um, we need to get you in big bag, so tell us what you want. <laughs> but yeah, and, Radix, and Radix is something that we're gonna we're gonna maybe kind of organize a little further, and then kind of get get participation in here. But the but yeah, this is something that we're really excited just as far as the early versions of the script are concerned. That we've got you know members of our community be getting included in that. And we'll share more with you guys about that as that rolls out too. So yeah. Sorry, Scott. Have so I'm not going to tell you what happened in the scene, but but Radix is definitely in it, and and then you know alongside that, I don't know what you call it because you know I'm not from the movie industry myself, I'm more from business. But he then showed me like a, the full scene in a in a moving sketch. What do you call that, West? It's an animatic. Uh, yeah, so he showed me the animatic to go with it whilst he was reading it. It was really powerful, and it like gave me goosebumps and stuff. And I was like, you know, how can we? Sh do we? Do we want? Do you want to see this stuff? Because you know we can easily kind of share some of this behind the stuff working and, and really kind of give you the workflow on how an actual animated feature would come to fruition literally from the start. Like, I don't know if you all want to see that, but just uh, somebody jump in and say, yeah, and we can start to push out some content around that and, and show you how kind of, you know, how you'd really start building a movie from script to animatics to actually, you know, colored in screens. Um, what what do you have then? Do you have the the, the boards, etc. So I kind of really want to bring you on that journey as well. Um, but yeah, yeah, really really powerful stuff. So in filmmaking, that'll be you know a, a lot a lot for you to pick up and learn on. And I, I definitely um sorry, Wes, you were going to say something. I uh, know that actually wasn't me. Somebody else was uh, was hopping in to speak. Uh, anybody else want to take the floor and comment on that? Please go for it. I was just going to say I think that would be pretty cool to see. So if you guys could share that along yeah. the way. Well, yeah, so I'm in, to I'm in. Gotta get I'm in. I'll try and get. I'll try. And I want. I want as much community participation in this. I know. I know. Radix seems to be uh, the star of the show at the moment, but there's plenty of plenty of spots for everybody. Um, so you know, anybody who's interested, give us a shout. Um, but you know, that's coming along really well. Um, so yeah, and, and I'm going to give you some alpha right now, but uh, I don't know if you've already said this, and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, it seems to be a lot that happens week to week, but um, we are in the process of onboarding um, an advisor who was uh, the head of head of franchise over at Riot Games um, and very powerful individual in the gaming space and also was an executive producer on Arcane. Uh, I don't know if anybody saw that. So we are in the process of, of really kind of bringing in some heavyweights in the gaming space that really not only have really powerful networks in the space but are very well versed in how you take a project a new project in the gaming space uh, and grow it into a global uh, global brand so uh, we will make a formal announcement on that in due course but you'll probably do your homework and and, and kind of work out some little bits and pieces i'm not sure i was allowed to say that but i'm gonna say it anyway because i'm no, excited no, you're good you're good yeah you're definitely, yeah, definitely allowed to say that so I'm always excited, so there will be some uh, kind of formal announcement on that. But, you know, as we all know, Riot Games is, is behind League of Legends, and this individual was a massive part of the success uh, and growth of uh, League of Legends. So it's going to be a, a huge value add to what we're doing. Uh, also still full steam ahead on, on the game. Um, so the game, you know, as, as, you, as we mentioned, we have been working on version 2. A lot of the work we did on version 2 on, on the kind of test map 
um, was around kind of getting the the team deathmatch gameplay mechanics right, making sure everything works. And now what we're doing, and I think we've successfully done it now, is we've ported over the original kind of Huli city over to our new kind of framework and architecture. Um, so that's going to be that that was a that was a bit bit of a massive task. And I, I know we said we kind of took one step to take ten forward. So that marks a, a huge milestone for us internally in terms of getting our original maps and features uh, and, and, and abilities working within the new framework. So from there, we can start to add all the extra additional features on there, um, such as, your, you know, your proximity charts, your controllers, you know, your new moves, your, your skateboard and your grinding, et cetera. So, yeah, the team are really excited about that. And, and if you uh, didn't catch it, as I mentioned before, definitely kind of take a look at um, the or take a listen to the uh, Twitter spaces yesterday. Um, Kevin Mack really went deeper than ever before, actually, and you know we we were all we were all loving it ourselves. Yeah, I mean, we all we all love it when when Kevin Mack yeah. goes deep. I mean, that sounds bad. That, don't the, take the that the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> but the but honestly, the dude is a wizard, and and it's interesting too because you you and you have somebody like Carl. You know, you have Captain Carl, who's you know obviously our game director, and also he really is an encyclopedic mind. Like the the as far as understanding the types of games certainly that inspired him and you can see that influence in the game that we're building um but man when we get into when you listen to kevin mack speak about the technical foundations of the game it it gives i think all of us just we, get, we all get fucking pumped because we're like all right we're like we're, we're building the real deal here like you know we're we're, we're stoked <laughs> about it, you know because he uh yeah he's he's an OG. And, and he's 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 passionate about the technology and and is very convicted in his you know feelings on how to approach a game like this so it's it's always cool to hear him him go deep on that um especially and to kind of get you know challenged by a guy like jonah who also has you know quite a technical propensity and understanding of the space and and the products themselves so yeah it was yeah. cool it was um, interesting because like jonah sent uh, jonah uh, uh, and the team sent us a, a really good thank you note today uh, and you know they did say that that was definitely one of the best, uh, one of the most favorite spaces they've ever hosted. So like you know that's a testament to 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 not only kind of what we're developing, but you all as well, because you know you all showing up, showing support uh, means a lot. And you know he into stuff. You know he definitely kind of tested out the game. He knows what he's talking about. And yeah. you know to kind of get that uh, confirmation of him um, that he really kind of enjoyed it and we were like literally a cut above most guests is is, is again good and that's not just us bigging ourselves right. up it's like you know we we work our asses off over here to constantly deliver and, and sometimes when you're so kind of like deep working all the time it's like you never take a step back to actually appreciate how far you've come appreciate all yeah, the kind of hard work definitely. In. and that, that getting that kind of feedback always Oh, it's always helpful. It always keeps you pumped up. It like, is. We're always like yeah. mm, running on. We're running on creatine out here. Yeah, no, it's it's one of those things where we're constantly, you know, and then we're coming up to kind of year's end with all the different things that we've been been working on, and just honestly, we're going like a thousand miles per hour. Sometimes it feels like we're just just redlining constantly, kind of. And, and as you all know, have, have been listening to these things, I will sometimes complain about this shit, so I apologize. But but it is one of those things when you take a second, take a breath to take a look at what, what we've built so far in this amazing community of people that we get to participate in this with. It's like, it, it's really special. And I got to say, again, big ups to all of you. When you guys hop into those spaces with us or hop into these AMAs or, you know, the, seeing our friends and our people in there just, I think, gives us all a bunch of fuel. It gives us a bunch of energy. Certainly, I'm just speaking for myself here. It gives me a lot of energy. But, you know, I'm just really, really it's grateful. Like, I'm grateful to be like doing all this, man. It's yeah. like back in the days when I used to watch horror movies and like it's super scary. I, I like I, I love horror <laughs> movies. I do definitely get scared by them. And then you see like, oh shit, there's a familiar actor now in the movie. Now I feel safe that there's an actor that I know <laughs> that's in the movie. Exactly. Kind of like you know, it always kind of you know, it, it's always helpful you being there and kind of showing yeah, face. Exactly. That's, a, that's an in, it's yeah. not uh, it's not the most typical analogy, but I don't know yeah, if anybody else has felt the no, same it's a, way. It's a, so right when really... Anthony Hopkins enters enters the screen and silence the silence the lambs, I'm like, all right, cool, I feel a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. All right, what else has been going on? Um, I know we said uh, Elio Elio trades. Elliot came in uh, last week oh, to the yeah, studio yeah. Friday. Wonderful had a play of the games. Was looking at what what we were doing. Really, really nice guy. Um, he's just started. Um, he's released a uh, a new NFT platform called Gigamart. Uh, we are exploring um, some things with him. Can't say anything because we are subject to a, an NDA. So 
you know, definitely kind of look yeah. forward to some news in, in that space. And, you know, people... And just, yeah, connecting lot, dots with them. Yeah, really I, can't, I, can't, I, kind of, I kind of really kind of rate Elio. Like, a lot, you know, a lot of people definitely. will have things to say about influencers, but he is... He's, he's a guy that's been shining the light on kind of NFTs and the technology on NFTs for a long time before anybody else did, for a long time before a lot of these influencers, yep, you know, yep. today jumped on it. So you've got to kind of sometimes give, you know, credit where credit's due. Um, you know, that guy is probably the OG in, in this space. And, uh, you know, he, he's definitely tried his best yeah. to put in good, solid work. And, you know, the guy's a machine. He's, he's absolutely working yeah, his ass off. Absolute animal. And and also, it's it's cool to see, you know, for anybody that's not familiar with his work, not to, you know, it, it's one of those things, right? Like right now, he's doing a lot of work on kind of larger, you know, interest rate stuff, a lot of the things that are affecting the macro economy that I think is really help, helpful and healthy for a lot of us in the space to be aware of and to be educated on as well. So it's it's all good shit. And he was just a super nice guy. So stuck yeah. happening. Good stuff. All right. What what else is going on? So yeah, we we've spoken about uh, you know potentially doing an open day either towards the end of this year or early next year. We're still working on that. We're still kind of trying to figure out a date uh, that would be best for that. So just kind of stay tuned for more. Um, yeah, and I think we're coming up yeah. to our we are coming up to our year anniversary of uh, my pet hooligan next week. Um, so we are, and it might not land next week, but we are we have been working on uh, something for for our holders. It's not an NFT, but we have been working on some uh, something physical, not hooligan heads, not anything that you're already aware of. Um, we're hoping we can get. I don't think we're going to get it in time for, for for next week, but we are working on something in the background for you all. Uh, a nice little gift. Um, so stay tuned uh, on more, for more on that. But you know, we do want to give you back something, and we do want to give you something back that you know that is it's it's also a collectible, and it's also a really kind of great memorabilia. So we are working on something for that. And it's not something you're going to have to uh, pay for or, you know, mint or anything. So don't look for any, don't click on any random links. Um, but, you know, that's that's more of a gift from us to you. And uh, I think I think you'll love it. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to make use of it. Uh, I'm not going to say any, anything more on that because I don't want to uh, spoil the surprise. Uh, but, it, you know, it's something you can enjoy with your friends and family. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, what else am I missing, Wes? I think I've covered a fair bit there. I'll give you a couple of bits of alpha. Give you a couple of bits of alpha. I know last week I teased that you know we have made a partnership with, with a layer two solution. Uh, it begins with a P, and it wasn't polka dot. Um, we will be making a more formal announcement on that as well. Um, I do. I do really want to tell you. Shall I tell them? No. Okay. You can work it out from there anyway, and you know we we, we are doing a, a lot on that side and getting a hell of a lot of support. Um, all right, cool. So I think that's a, quite a fair bit of a download. And yeah, oh sorry, one of the one of the most important things is uh, we are working on. Sorry, not well, we are we we are we are uh, kind of working through the box opening activation phase that we are hoping to drop before we close out the year so anybody who's got a box um do await to open that soon and you know that's that will continue the journey of the zuck box there will still be two activations that come after that so still got everybody's still got a bit of skin in the game um, we'll have, a, we'll have an official day for you got for you all here soon yeah. just uh, yeah we'll yeah, exactly. Stay tuned. Don't don't click on anything. In the meantime, um, leave that one with us, and you know you will be. Uh, we. Um, but I'm I'm definitely looking at looking looking forward to that. It's definitely going to be another gamified process. It's going to be a lot of fun too. So keep those keep those boxes handy because they will be opening soon. And you know we are now that the now that we've um, you know got a bit of capacity back after after all the stuff we've been doing that I just mentioned earlier. Um, with you know with with the mike mitchells the amazon meta etc is we're going to start to pump out um some more content again so we do have a couple more episodes in the week uh, in the works uh, and the kind of usual hula news and other supporting content um coming to you soon so yeah um apologies if there hasn't been the the same usual output of, of content but you know the, there's been reasons for that and we are ready, stashed up, ready to go. We we, we love making content. Um, it, it's it's always fun. Um, and I think yesterday we signed up West to making a uh, 
a parody of, of Seven, What's in the Box. So we've kind of got to work that one out. I forgot about that. Yeah, I think we did sign yeah. up to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And big shout out to Avocado to, to really kind of push him for that Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Not, why do I keep saying Jonah Hill? Is it Jonah Hill? <laughs> you know, get, oh. It's Jonah Blake, but, but Jonah yeah. Jonah Blake, no, I, yeah, I, sorry. Jonah, Jonah Hill. Blake's message. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not a Jonah Hill like super fan. Like, it's like... Nobody could question why Jonah Hill is always on my mind, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not Jonah Hill super fan. So I think, I think, I think that's a, that's as much of a download as I can give today. But I think, I think, I do feel confident that there was a, a fair bit in there and a, and a fair bit of an update for a week. Um, it's interesting because I think it's you know a lot of people would would find it really challenging to actually have to update every week. Like, what would they say? But thankfully, we're always pushing ourselves. We've always got stuff going on, and we've always got something to kind of uh, report back to you. Sorry, yeah, have some. I've not got a thing for Jonah Hill. Let me make that very clear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about don't that. No, no, man. Like, shit, I'm going to have to take that poster down of Jonah Hill in, in, in the bedroom. Yeah, that, well. that, that, poster, <laughs> that poster that you've got hanging above your bed, dude. I've been every time I'm over, I'm like, yeah, man, I don't know, I don't know what the deal is in that. Yeah, but, super, uh, by the way, super, super bad poster. Sorry, West. Uh, yeah, by by the way, big shout out to oh, six nine six seven. I see you in here. Big shout out to you, Zugs. See all, all all the the gang, and also have some lovely chatting with you earlier in the week, brother. And I'm looking forward to more of those, my man. Yeah, so there, you know, coming into the new year, there is there is a lot we're going to do on on kind of the website side, our, our kind of front facing. You know what what people see of us when they when they first visit either our socials, yeah, uh, our yeah, website, etc. We're gonna do we're, we're gonna do a real kind of rejig on all that, and you know because we've got so much going on, it's hard to keep track of what what we're doing. Like content's getting lost um, everywhere because you know it's it's on it's on Twitter. Twitter ain't always the best place of sharing content because you know after about five retweets and a couple of likes and comments. Like, you know, what you probably did yesterday is now lost. So, you know, we, we are kind of working on that. We, uh, you know, shout out to Hulu Media because Hulu Media is doing a great job with that stuff. But, you know, we have started to set up a, a YouTube site as well. And, and YouTube's definitely uh, one, of the, one of the main mediums we need to get really behind kind of going into kind of, you know, game launch and sustaining that side of things. Um, we have been doing a lot of kind of work on the game side, uh, modeling, analysis, and, and kind of, you know, how we're going to achieve the player growth numbers that we want uh, and kind of, you know, what that means in terms of revenue, you know, really kind of businessy stuff. Uh, big shout out to 6967, who's definitely kind of been helping with the growth strategy. And, you know, we're really, really confident. We've been making, you know, partnerships all over the world, uh, you know, not only with guilds, but, you know, with publishers too. So we can really push this. Um, not only in the kind of Western market, but, you know, in the Eastern markets as well, where there is a massive consumption of games, albeit a lot of it's mobile. There's still a hell of a lot of uh, kind of, you know, PC and console business. So uh, one of the other things that, you know, we are aware that we need to get done and, and we're probably going to put a, a, lot of, a lot of time behind this next week is is updating the white paper. You know, we've definitely got more milestones to add. Some some have been changed. Yeah. We've, got, we've had a lot more a lot more work, a lot more detailed yeah. analysis since, since we kind of started that. So I want to make sure that you're all, you all know exactly what's going on. When. Sorry. Um, but but that's it in terms of an update from our side. I think I don't I don't know if I've missed anything. Um, anything I, anything I've missed there, guys? No, dude. I think you you got everything right now. We're just we're just trying to finish out the year strong. We've got a lot still going on. Certainly, everybody in the studio is still cooking. Yeah. But hey, we're getting to the end of the year, and we're we're stoked and just grateful for you all. We're just you know, yeah. Right, no, this next just... year, we've got a lot of really positive and just kind of ec like epic things that we're getting into this next year and i gotta say i'm looking forward to taking a breath refocusing and then hitting it hard i feel like everybody here is ready to do so that's kind of the mentality at the moment yeah you know you, i don't think you're allowed to take a take a breath west so uh, <laughs> yeah, i'm kidding um, <laughs> all right so i've just spoke for like half an hour and uh, i think i've given you a, a fairly comprehensive update of what's going on so i'm gonna hand over the floor to to you all if you've got any kind of questions it, you know if you feel there's any kind of feedback or, you know, things that we're not doing as good that we should be doing, you know, now now's your opportunity to tell us and, and kind of, you know, help help us, help us, help us not only um, kind of, you know, achieve achieve better success, but 
get get it, hold us to account basically you know we, we we love to be held to account and you know sometimes it's tough being held to account but you know that's what we're all here for and that's what the community is here for we you all want the best from us uh, and you know uh, all feedback is, is great feedback so let's go for it um rugs bunny oh. is in the university library so so can't talk unfortunately but rugs bunny i'm looking at um the discord chat as well so if you are a bit shy just um throw something in in the general chat or the hooligan um, shall I go in the general chat or hooligan? i'll go in the general chat uh because everybody's in there uh let me just jump in the general chat now uh i'm listening okay next chinese year is the year of the rabbit wow all right what does that that means it's our year i feel like it's that this means is the, I, does that mean, yeah. okay yeah that means that that means that we've got a win right i mean we should we should start putting that into some of our uh conversations uh with, with uh, partners on, on on the east actually and just say you know when, when we are having conversations about investments we can just literally say actually it's the year of the rabbit next year so it makes sense i'll leave it at that yes the nft and you can ask uh, questions on audio everyone anyone who wants to speak hey, button, uh, oh, it's over to you what's going on dude doing well uh, i was at art basel shilling the heck out of the rabbits uh oh, nice man how did how did how, how, how was the reception <laughs> no it's nice. incredible it was it, it's the easiest job ever uh but i guess one one suggestion and i don't know if others kind of echo it i don't know if you guys have like pitch decks or decks that you use to kind of explain uh my pet hooligan to those who don't know about yep. it i know Hooli media kind of has like an onboarding like in, I'm new to the rabbit hole or something like that. But any, I guess any of those resources that could help us just quantify um, and explain like uh, my uh, pet hooligan well, to those people who don't speak NFTs necessarily. Cause like the story's awesome, uh, but there's so many, I guess, moving elements yeah. to someone who could be overwhelming uh, up front. So anything like that could help onboard people because I, I think this is an awesome nft project it's but it's also awesome to to the yeah. yeah no definitely we do we do have a deck uh most uh most of the decks uh, are, are like kind of investment and partnership based but you know we can definitely put a, a kind of a version together that the community can use to, to empower themselves when having those conversations um, but uh, but another thing is NFT and, and this is for you West. I'm going to tell you off publicly, but you haven't got back to NFT yeah, and, and and DM. By I'm the way, sorry. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but fair, but fair enough. One one first and foremost, amazing musician. Really fucking pumped to have you in there. And also, uh, just to your to your note, I think that that's something we could probably work on as far as having. Like, it's something we've noticed. Like we we've noticed that. We've got a bunch of different irons in the fire, and when to somebody coming into the ecosystem, it can be a little overwhelming, and there's not a really coherent onboarding path. So that's something that you know we could certainly tighten up. So if you guys have notes or thoughts about that, please let us know. That is something that we could, yeah. we could work on. You want to think through that. Path, one of the you know? questions, one of the questions I've got for you all, uh, and and you may be able to answer this as well, NFT, is like. You are talking to to this, like you know. Have you spoken about my pet hooligan to kind of two two questions? Uh, the Web three crowd, obviously, but outside of the Web three crowd, and like, what are the aspects that really kind of interest the individual when you're talking to them? Is it is it the game? Is it is it the style and art direction? Is it the kind of entertainment and content side of things? Is it is it the kind of you know NFT piloting solutions we de developed? Like, what is it that really kind of grasps their attention? when you are having those conversations and i'd like to know that same answer for not only kind of web3 people but also non-web3 yeah yeah definitely yeah I, I i guess really quickly like i the interpretation and the way i've pitched it is like it's an nft but i i don't really mention that till later like and that's why i love my pet hooligan it's because it's so much outside of the nft as well and so when you really tell the story of what it is when you tell the story of the team the technology the art like show the video and then say hey all of this also has the benefit of being an nft and you get to like play with your own character you get to record content with your own character like that's the added bonus but i think to people outside of the nft space like unfortunately there have been so many rug pulls and scams that it's kind of intimidating if you start with that out front and that's yeah. why i personally really believe in it uh but it's almost like flipping the traditional pitch i think it's so interesting because we're seeing we're seeing that exact 
meta kind of present itself, certainly even in the game, you know, in gaming, right? Like, it seems like, um, and I'm a big believer that the Web3 tool sets are this amazing set of tools that we get to expand on how we can interface with audiences. But if we abstract the crypto stuff further into, like, under the hood and just lead with, you know, core product design, you know, like interesting IP, compelling storytelling, and then let all of these interesting facets of NFT ownership, um, you know, Web3 community building, things like that, start to present themselves the deeper into the ecosystem you get. I feel like that's a more effective product design um, um, path at the moment. So that's that's interesting to hear, you know, kind of that that's that that might be a more effective way to talk about the property. So that, that's cool. Appreciate that, NFTN. Good stuff, dude. And, and I'm just yeah. I'm just kind of go for it. Hey, Luke, I just want to piggyback on that. I think that what comes to mind of, of get, getting people interested is team, tech stack, and transparency. Yeah. I think that's what's that's unique what's to AMGI. Like, that doesn't have anything to do with Web3 even. Like, your, yeah, team, totally. your team is beyond Web3. Your tech stack is beyond Web3. And your transparency doesn't have anything to do with Web3. So, like, I think that's the starting point. And then... Mm. The Web three uh, benefits that can come back to holders is like it's it's like literally gravy on top, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're actually right because like you know when, when looking at startups, someone like VCs look at startups. The 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 one thing that they're looking at is the team. They're like, are they, is this team got experience? You know, what have they done in the past, and do we feel confident that they can deliver? And that's out, you know, in and outside of the kind of Web three world. And you know, ultimately, what we're developing is just you know, it, it, it's a brand and IP and it's a, an entertainment, um, you know, brand and IP with a game that isn't subject to just kind of Web3 communities. This is something that can be enjoyed by the whole world. And like, you know, it is it is new, it is fresh and, and it's out here for people to kind of jump on and follow now. So you are completely right with that. It's team tech stack and transparency. And none of that has uh, yeah. anything to do with Web3. That just has everything to do with uh you know a, a new startup a project um an ip uh, and kind of building for growth yeah definitely and i will say i just i just jotted that note down i appreciate that uh, avocado that's yeah that's solid insight there man i also like that it's easy to remember ttt team tech stack transparency love it right down dude ttt yeah. i like it next uh, let's get let's get who in the hoodie wearing TTT next. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Rugs Bunny yeah. is picking up on something Rugs Bunny's uh, just said, which you know I, I want I'm not sure we've explored so much detail uh, as of yet, but uh, the, the panel's open right now, so let's talk about it. Uh, but Rugs said um, gave a bunch of thoughts this morning talking about 7.5 percent creator fee uh, and qu a question if that discourages trading and volume. Open to your thoughts on this, but I, I'm also open to hear thoughts on. Um, how you feel about us um, having a uh, an NFT marketplace on our site uh, without kind of you know royalties uh, involved? So uh, you know marketplace royalties, etc. Maybe a reduced uh, creator fee. Um, so yeah, talk to me on that. So the stage is yours, and definitely put stuff up on on chat if you don't want to you know kind of have your voice heard. How do you feel about that? So the question is is there's two questions here: is royalty fee. Okay, too high, too much. Does it discourage volume? Number two is, uh, do you want us to have our own marketplace uh, with less fees and, and no kind of marketplace fee uh, on mypethooligan.com? Uh, as a lot of projects are doing, I know. Um, I know there is a solution that a lot of individuals are using at the moment. Goblins are using it. I think uh, Bored Apes are using it as well now. I'm not sure if that's happening yet, uh, Big Bag, but I did see there was an AIP for that. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Have some, I think you're ready to speak. Oh, man, I love it. I think you should do it. I love the idea of keeping it as a closed marketplace, though, to all this throw that and people can kind of go back on that, but, um, or at least respond to it. But I like the idea of a closed marketplace for my pet hooligan and approved partner ecosystems. So it creates kind of a value add. I don't mind the royalty. In fact, I wouldn't even like if there was a 2% instead of a three and a half or a 1%. But what I'd love to see happen is that anything that goes into that royalty goes into like a community DAO or wallet. So yeah. it can, so your transactions can fund a, a community wallet DAO that then we can vote on AIP. You know, we can vote on some governance pieces to say, hey, look, we have X amount of, amount of money out there. Let's use that to do a TV series or let's use that to fill that blank. 
you know I like what I mean? That. But I, imagine, I imagine, noticed. imagine we'd done that from the start. Oh have, yeah, hundred percent. Pretty solid. A pretty yeah. solid. Um, what do you mean by closed marketplace? What what uh, what is that? I don't like not an open like hey list any NFT you want, but just oh yeah 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 exactly. That's only, what I was thinking. That's what yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, my pet hooligan only, or maybe even you know once that's there, you can you can maybe to the partner as Interloop grows, you're going to need that same capability as you scale. And if you want to do like partner ones that they don't have it, then if you get into the rabbit hole, if you want to buy a doge to run or you want to run it as a dog, you can still go buy that. And then the royalty would then kick it in and they can fund the rabbit hole or you can fund a marketplace. You can fund whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So we we definitely got plans for the in-game marketplace. But, you know, this is in the interim. You know, if if everybody kind of agrees and and feel like it's a good solution, we can definitely knock it up. And there's various solutions, you know, and white label solutions that we can build on. And I know uh, Rigo Rihanna has just suggested if, you know, the community can get involved in the building of that. uh, Definitely, of course. Um, How is the um, um, one for you, Big Bag? How is how is the marketplace? Is is the Bot81 live now? And uh, are people generally kind of using that? Uh, As far as I know, I haven't. uh, I don't even think they haven't open or anything i haven't even heard about it they don't have it it's not there all right i thought it was that unless i was nope Nope. they just launched the staking this week and people are learning to do that but then they had to a contract issue and so people held off for a day or two okay all right interesting all right anybody else got any kind of comments on that um if they support it what would they like to see any kind of comments around kind of uh marketplace fees or or creator fees etc talk to us yeah, sorry to speak again, but uh, no, no, dude. What do you mean, sorry? Up what? Marketplaces. Uh, I love the yeah. echo everything that was said before me. Um, I think like the one marketplace for the interloop, so like open ecosystem but closed marketplace would be smart. I guess the the big thing that all of us are going to be wondering is how can how can holders benefit from that too? You know how how can that marketplace feed the the ecosystem and the people investing in it? But I I love that idea. Um, and I think it'll bring more value to the project. You know what would be even cooler is integrating the token, like carrots. Like you don't necessarily need like a liquidity pool, but if we could accept tokens, then people could sell their, you know, my pet hooligans for carrots, or they could do a combination of carrots. And you know, I mean, it would it could add value to the carrot uh, ecosystem, you know, token economy as well, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you're right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's let's let let's put that on the uh, on the docket uh, for next year when we do our kind of website uplifts and stuff. I, I'm 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 of support of that, and, and let's let's delve a bit deeper into that um, as as we're building that out because I, I do want to look at you know uh, fees um, and you know what you support, what you don't support, and and really kind of get your comments on that, and I'll also look at this you know potential DAO structure. Uh, development and, and Dow pot um, because ultimately you know if we if we do have a pot for that it, it's always the community is always going to do what's in the best interest of the community right in most cases so um it's it's only it's only a positive the biggest use case there too would be safety for our community because yeah. let's say you want to do a bunny swap instead of having to go out and you know risk it and transfer yeah. and do whatever you pseudo swap Having yeah. that closed economy like that, maybe you you can do a bunny plus twenty carrots. Like keeping that safe in that way is huge. Not just for avoiding the fees, so people aren't listing on cheaper markets like X two Y two, but you can keep us in yeah. the economy swapping safely. It's a great, actually, a good point. Yeah, and I know a lot of people uh, have definitely got rubbed on on swaps, the NFT traders, yeah. pseudo swap, etc. Not not necessarily in our community, but others. Um, right. Um, yeah, I've heard, I've heard some. Uh, well, I actually was listening, uh, reading up a story where two bored ape scammers scammed each other. <laughs> the both sent each other a fake, <laughs> fake bored ape on a, on, a, on a swap mechanism. That was that was pretty funny. And um, just looking at what Ghost Bunster has said, 2023 is the year of the water rabbit. Okay, cool. So uh, there's some there's some content right there. If anybody's uh kind of wants to help with some Chinese New Year content, get in touch. Let's let's workshop an idea. Also, and, and let's make it. I'm just, I'm just taking a what note of that. Water rabbit. I don't know what a water rabbit is, but I'm guessing I ain't got a clue, man. I, I was yeah. gonna say it's a, it's a, it's a rabbit either made out of water or a rabbit that can swim, like lives in the sea. <laughs> rabbit made out of water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a platypus. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, definitely give us a shout, Ghost Monster, because it sounds like you're more familiar with what a water rabbit is and what's going on there, and how we can kind of definitely help push that message. But let's do something cool for it. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, man. Just... Sorry, Ghost Monster. Can you say that one more time? I'm I'm from Croatia. I just googled that. And oh right, okay. <laughs> Chinese year 2023. So that was first yeah, that came up. It's, ch- it's a challenge. Let's see if we can make Huli have a water te- water like texture. That'd be interesting. Croatia is losing to Brazil today. Uh, tomorrow. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You guys been uh, really kind of up on the World Cup. I, I've not actually watched any games yet. I'm going to watch uh, France versus England on Saturday. That's a big game. Uh, but otherwise, I've not watched any. How's it going so far? Where, what stages are we in now? Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals, all right. Just you might want to skip that game on Saturday, Luke. Why uh, Are England going to get wasted? That's what I think. But uh, All right, fine enough. it's coming home, volume 666. Okay, interesting. If anybody's in LA and wants to watch the game with us, give us a shout. We're watching it on Saturday. <laughs> yes. Saturday um, okay, what else am I seeing here? What else am I seeing? I'm just reading the uh, the Discord, but anybody feel feel free to there was, there, was, there was a skit idea for the Huli News, the Huli Who News. Yeah. Uh, with cock punch, cock punch is the big NFT this week yeah. by Tim Ferriss. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Hooli on the phone or something, um, you know, talking about cock punch or how he wants to get a cock punch, and then have Zuckbot five thousand and one deliver the blow. For All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's, that's amazing. amazing. All right, well, yeah, no, right. No, no, that's in the chat. Let's get that one. Let's get that one on the list for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we'll see if we can. We'll see if we can get to step in on that tomorrow. That's uh, that's that's beautiful. <laughs> Freaking. Let's nice. see if we can actually incorporate into episode four. That be that be that be interesting. All right, that, that's a great idea. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey, Skyhopper, did you uh, address the get together? Like, are we doing a Super Bowl party in LA? Like um, January, I've, February, or did you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So I, I did discuss early on this kind of open day. We are working on a date, and you know, it, it might be too last minute for a lot of people. But it, it, if you can attend the one, uh, if we do have the open day this year, that'd be great. If not, we will definitely have another one uh, early next year. So may, maybe it could align with the Super Bowl. Um, I actually went to. to my, to my, to yeah, my first, uh, say too, if for for any people that are in LA or you know, so one we'll have the the open studio day, you know, we'll have that TBD as far as that date, but it will be coming up soon. But besides that, also for people that are in LA or want to you know be around, we can give a quick kind of heads up, and if we if we all want to meet up someplace, whether you know whether it is to catch a game or do something, absolutely love to go have a beer with y'all yeah. or do whatever to shoot the shit. I'd, I'd be really stoked to, to hang out IRL. So just a kind of general note. 100%. Um, I went to watch my first uh, football game on uh, Sunday, actually. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. Really good experience. Huge. Absolutely huge. The one comment that I did have is like, why is it so slow? Like, honestly, like they play for like 10 seconds and then stop for two, three minutes and then play for 10 seconds and stop for two minutes. I couldn't quite grasp that element of it. And then I was thinking that it kind of makes sense, like, why the NFL, you know, football training is always, like, really kind of high-intensity short bursts and, and not not kind of an endurance sport. So that, that was interesting. But it, it, it was fun. I enjoyed the experience. Yeah, That's somebody it. was telling me. I wasn't at the game, but somebody told me, they're like, you're like, why do they stop every, like, couple of seconds? Yeah, <laughs> I did not understand it. But obviously I grasped it by the end. I mean, it, it is it is it is quite it is quite entertaining because it's like that constant constant move up the pitch. Um, it's 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 quite cool. I could I could see myself getting into it, but I wish it was a bit quicker. To be honest with you. Yeah, but at least they're scoring, Luke. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta it's go true. Right, Tom. <laughs> I mean, LA, LA, LA lost. Um, I've been to two games. Say that again. Did you watch Chargers or Rams? No, no, it was Rams I watched in the LA. I've been to two two sports games whilst I've been in LA. I went to an LA Lakers game, an LA lost, and then I went to an LA Rams game, and LA lost. So maybe maybe I should stop going. 
because I, I, I'm like a bad omen for this stuff. Uh, you but, you didn't catch a Kings game. Watch hockey. Watch it. Yeah, that's what I really want to watch. I really want to watch hockey. I, I used to. I used to when I was a kid. I mean, nobody plays ice hockey in the UK. When I was a kid, I was a massive fan of um, Mighty Ducks one, two, and three. So, like, you know, great, great film. Movie. Great film. Great film franchise. Find me. Oh man, amazing. Find me. And also, um, what, what's Emilio Estevez up to? These really? Days? Where's he been? Yeah. Yeah. And any other any other uh, Mighty Ducks fans here? Like honestly, I just every every year, kind of like Christmas, I just used to wish Mighty Ducks came on TV, and it oh, always did. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah! Born in '89, that was like mandatory watching in the nineties. <laughs> like absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it was. I mean, it just don't make anymore. Unfortunately, um, it's it, it's 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 a crazy world we live in, and and how kind of you know humans have. I don't know. It'd be still quite entertaining to get movies like that, and there used to be a whole load of them. There used to be that there was that baseball one as well called the was it the Sandlot? I don't know if there was any other ones, but I used to love those little oh, um, oh, incredible kind of like school school kid kind of you know as a school kid as well those school kid teams uh, <laughs> you know a really oh, shit team yeah, getting really yeah. good and winning. It was just. It's just an amazing story. Yeah, uh, we uh, Benny actually Jet. Benny the Jet. Yeah, Benny, Benny the Jet Rodriguez, dude, Benny absolute legend, absolute legend. I don't know who that is, man, but cool. dude, this Benny yeah. from from the Sandlot. Sorry, guys. By the yeah, way, this I've, is all, it. Yeah. I've only watched the Sandlot once, and it, and it and I thought it was amazing. I've never watched it. I might watch it this weekend again. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, movie quotes are my love language, by the way. So the moment that we start talking about movies and shit, especially uh, yeah, nostalgic ones, I'm yeah, I, I won't shut up about it. So I'm gonna cut myself yeah. off. Yeah, one other thing that I, I do want to point out is uh, you know we've been seeing some great content coming out, and I, and I see that a lot of the community uh, started to really kind of embrace their FBX files and start to learn you know Unreal <laughs> um, and, and kind of you know modeling and animation. That's great to see. One of the things that we have been working on is is the ability for you to, um, and this will come in the future, but the ability for you to upload your content um, that will then be shared in the theater, uh, in the Huli uh, yeah. Rabbit Hole Rabbit Hole Theater. So you know, kind of getting our content out there and you know having having a way to kind of hey, show it in the is really important. So that's definitely cool. Um, cool. I'm I'm still looking for more kind of questions or input or anything. Uh, I know we come, well, I know we... Random, random question. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going to order some MPH merch soon. And yeah. I was wondering, mm -hmm. do we have any stickers? Because I would love to throw one on my hard hat, but I don't see them. But I yeah, feel like we... they exist somewhere. So we did no stickers on, on the website as of right now. But if, um, you know, we could probably, yeah, Roger Rabbit. That was Roger Rabbit. That was you, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I think you. We'll, yeah, probably send you, we'll probably send you something out in an envelope. So uh, yeah, I think, I think an, yeah. But now, now we've got to send it to absolutely. We're only going to send it to anybody who was on this VC, by the way. So there you go. Also, oh, yeah. you, you got to promise to promise to shoot us a picture back, just showing showing it to us on your hard hat. I, I want to see that, man. But yeah, we'll we'll get you some of that. Yeah. We can have. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Cool. Cool. I need to stick one in my car, actually. I need to stick one in my car window. Same, same. I'm always, like, wherever I go, I'm always wearing the MPH hoodie or T-shirt or cap, etc. Always, re always representing. I've not been pulled over yet, and, and uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the day that somebody says, oh, is that my pet hooligan? But in, in, the, in the... I do definitely know there's an NFT DJ in, in the apartment that I'm staying in because I saw somebody wearing a Mutant Cats Dow T-shirt, which was interesting. <laughs> um, I, I didn't know it still existed, but it, um, that, that was kind of kind of interesting. Um, but but yeah, I think that's it for us today. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's anything else that I've missed on the chats. Uh, but in the meantime, if anybody's got any other questions or anything to add, I hope that was an enjoyable session. I hope I hope you definitely kind of took something from that. I, I'll leave to a couple of bits of alpha. Um, I, I'm really excited about one of them, which is the you know the head of franchise at, at, of Riot Games joining as an advisor. And that's that's going to be absolutely freaking huge for us, um, and can't can't wait. Um, you know, this the business often the business often and unfortunately is is a game of networks and and who you know, um, and that always plays a big difference. Um, and it's also a game of experience and knowledge capital. And um, thankfully, you know, we, we've been you know building inroads in all those spaces. 
and you know a lot a lot a lot of the bits of work that we do you know sometimes you might question oh well you know why have we done a bit of content with with so and so or you know why have we done this with x projects you know a lot of times it's just to build relationships and open doors because you know we see uh, advantages uh, of potential you know strategic partners or you know individuals in these organizations that can help us with things so you know often we'll put our arms around people we'll, we'll help people but you know that's never a bad thing you you, you know you help enough people uh, one of them is going to help you in the future with something and and that's all that kind of hard work and effort and networking we've been doing is really kind of paying off right now um so always an important thing definitely Definitely. Um, that's it. Maybe. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I go. Right. I got uh, yes, something. Yes. Go for it. Uh, is there anything on? I know it's on the AMGI, the, the Crunchbase site today. That uh, eleven eleven Media showed up as an investor. Is that something old or is that something new? Eleven Media. Um, Paris, Hilton, yeah. Paris Hilton. Uh, 11, oh yeah, 11 yeah, yeah, Media. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eleven Media and Paris Hilton are, are investors in IMI. I think I'm not, I'm not sure. Are they investors in AMGI as well? I know they're definitely. And and just no, um, just uh, just uh, just a in in, in IMI. Uh, but but AMGI owns IMI. I don't know if you can give a bit more clarity on how that relationship works, West, or if you're able to. But um, no, I, I think it's a bit of history there. But ultimately, yeah, IMI is owned by. Yeah. Was what, did you, what did you say then? <laughs> yeah, so Emmy Emmy is oh Emmy's like Emmy's owned by AMGI Studios, but also has a a, a kind of a separate team that runs it. Yeah, in precisely. And uh, Eleven Media and Paris Hilton are, are investors in that. I think we we've also Mark Cuban is as well. Uh, I think Pip is Pip is as well. Steve Aoki. Um, I think Pitbull. And, Eric Eric Wan, who's the founder, co-founder of Zoom. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of heavyweights um, involved in that. All right, yeah, so, yeah. I knew that. It's just uh, we just some of us watched the Crunchbase website, yeah. and that showed up in the last couple of days as a stuff. seed investor. So you'll definitely start seeing more stuff pop up there as well. I got a quick question in regards to Emmy. I'm curious to know if there's any. Um, if there's any updates in regards to the uh, the connection with the ledger on Emmy, so we have put the request forward for that feature, and it is in in the works. So there's basically a pipeline of of kind of future developments um, that's in there. Uh, I don't know where it sits on the kind of you know list in terms of priority, but I, I know it's in there, and I'll try and get you an update on that. We yeah, do. No, have no, we do, yeah, but Emmy, we, but Emmy, we do have an app development partner uh, that that works on that with us. So, so it kind of follows a slightly different process in terms of upgrades and features than it would for the Rabbit Hole game or, or the Zuckbots app, etc. So, it's a, a slightly different pipeline, and, and that's yeah, that's yeah. that's purely down to it, you know, being originally, you know. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong here. Originally, but you know, originally AMGI were kind of you know uh, shareholders in uh, not shareholders but partners in IMI, uh, and now it's kind of come under our umbrella. So it was yeah, exactly. it exactly. was operating so, like as a as a sister uh, unit originally. So it had its own processes, etc. Ah, uh, got it. Okay, so then we could probably most likely um, expect an update around that maybe um, uh, next year. Yeah, and 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 also um, definitely like you know one of the other things is we're going to do a little post of content on this, so we will show you um, Emmy working on Zoom. We'll do a little content piece around that, but but start to use it and start to take screenshots, start to take videos of you using it. You know that's powerful to show off. And one of the things with you know Emmy is it's 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 user acquisition uh, into our kind of ecosystem. It's one of the main tools, but it's also you know, we we're we're open to kind of you know get get this technology out to other projects, and we've already started to. Uh, we want to see loads of NFT projects or communities using IMI in the future for for you know everyday tasks online and start to kind of uh, pilot their digital identities. Um, so you know 
the journey with me continues. There's a lot we still want to do with it. And, you know, there was some good, good feedback and, and future suggestions yesterday in the Twitter space as well that we've definitely kind of taken note of. Um, what else? What else? There's loads of Pitbull um, gifts coming up. I never really... <laughs> Yeah, I, I never, I've never really listened to Pitbull. Pitbull had a massive run at one stage. It was like it made loads of kind of like Vegas kind of music. Um, I remember, I remember that original song we had, that gasoline song. That was pretty cool. Gasoline. There's a, uh, there's a nearby restaurant and place where a lot of employees at AMGI will regularly, and I think almost exclusively they have like a Pitbull. Pitbull yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I noticed that today. <laughs> Uh, NFT Ant's been there. NFT Ant was turned into a Pitbull fan. Um, cool. I think I think that's us Can for you guys today. Hear me? Yes, uh, yes, go for it. I, I want to go for a small finish. I want to give you guys some thoughts. Been listening this entire time and love our community and want to give you some thoughts after all this alpha. All right, wait, guys. wait, six, six, nine, six, seven. Before you, before you start, if this if this is your final words, we've got one more question before that, and then we're going to hand over to you to close us off. So, all, all right, right. I'm okay. fine with that. That's good. All right. Who was the final? Who was the final question? Uh, I had a, I had a question about the oh, game. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't want to be that guy. I'm just really excited for you know the game. Uh, do you guys have like an expected quarter of when you know we might be able to like play some new game modes in the you know the Hulu game? Yeah. Uh, we should be able to ship you out in uh, Q1 in, in 2023. Uh, the new oh, version. Um, we do need to update that. Uh, Done. We do need to update our milestones of that. That will have a, a game mode in there as well, so we can start to see, you know, people start to rank against each other and have their own profile. So it will be a, a lot of a step up from what we've currently got. And um, we're looking forward to it too. Um, you know, it was supposed to be out uh, this quarter. However, you know, as we mentioned, we did take it. Uh, we have gone to the new version of Unreal, and we have developed a new framework around it, uh, and we have been using some of the some of the Lyra framework as well. So that's meant we've had to kind of take a step back to take several steps forward. But what that allow, allow us to do is, it, it'll, it begin, because we're on a new framework now, it'll be a lot easier for us to add and save time uh, in the future with new features, with game modes, etc. So all of that kind of functionality has been built in up front. And this is really kind of common in game development. Often, you know, games have to have to go through that uh, restructuring process, redevelopment, rebuilding process kind of several times over. Hopefully we're not going to have to do it again. I don't think we are. I think we're in a really good position right now. But, you know, we, we had to take the feedback that we got from Alpha version 1.1. Although a lot of people enjoyed it, you know, we, we knew and we know it could be better. And I know 6967 did a lot of good work in that. And, you know, he comes from the traditional gaming world and esports. Uh, it was absolutely fundamental in, in us kind of, you know, seeing where improvements could be made to really kind of get that extra level of polish on it. You know, at, at this stage, we're not trying to be the best Web3 game. We want to stand up against uh, really big Web2 games. And that, that's where we need to head with this. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope that answers your question, sir. Yeah, it does. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are not rushing anything. I think it's good to take your time. You know, Rome was not built in a single day. Uh, I feel like it'd be better, you know, what you guys are doing. I'm not in a rush. I'm just really excited to play. That's all. But I, 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 I would much rather prefer you guys to take your time and, you know, enjoy the process and make sure everything's smooth. That's fully understandable. Yeah. And I respect that. Yeah, I appreciate that. But, you know, we also want to find the balance in terms of kind of delivering, right. uh, making, right. making good on our word and, and ensuring that you've also got something to to be excited about and talk about and, and kind of show off everything we can do. So you know, we, there's always there's always that balance there. Um, all right, cool. Thanks for that. And 6967, over to you, sir, to close us off for the day. All right. Been looking forward to this so much. Love hearing the alpha from you guys. Let's Let's all go and travel back one year. About less than five days minus one year is when I joined this community. And from this first year, the transformation has been massive. Look at the beginning, the Mint and the NFT bull run and all this. The kind of environment we were in, the kind of vision and plans uh, this project had then, and the size of this project then. And fast forward 12 months, what has changed? The biggest thing, the single biggest thought for me is that the first months, everyone 
wanted us to fail. There was so much competition. We found a lot of great people that wanted to stick with us, but we also had shit ton of people that just wanted to benefit from us. And we found a lot of competition, a lot of naysayers. And eventually when we went from the small vision to even bigger vision, unlike most projects, most projects just gave up or I don't know where they went. But we continued pursuit with a much bigger vision for the entire world, for this brand, like Pokemon or Digimon or Star Wars, something as massive. And where we are today is that everyone wants to work with us. Everyone thinks we are going to win. No one dares to bet against us. What does that tell to you guys in both Bowling. Web3 and Web2? <laughs> Like th this is this is what really makes it for me because I I've seen what traditional gamers think about what we are building. I've seen what Web three thinks about what we are building. Influencers not in order to shill us, but to actually work with us. And <laughs> the biggest like the leaks today, th those are big leaks. But obviously, look, I mean, Skyhopper can't say everything, but holy shit, like who wouldn't want to work with us? And what we are creating now, this is not something that. You can just kind of come up with with fully freestyle, even though the team is team is like really they have this flow, as you guys have seen each Friday when we uh, every two Fridays when we watch them, they have this huge positive energy and these vibes, and I want to get involved in that every time. But really, there's so much thought, so much resources, so many talented people, and a huge fucking community that actually cares behind this. That's only going to keep growing exponentially. The networks, like Skyhopper said, will come in place and there's nothing that can replace those. Like, I, I don't think the capital of today is money anymore, even though you need a lot of funding to do a really good game. But if you have the right people and the audience and the users, the community, that's what really makes the difference. That's why I'm so fucking bullish that next year is going to be the rabbits year. First Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great yeah. 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 Holy motherfucking who? Yeah, let's get let's get a who let's get a from you. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Another thing is just, just... Yeah. Well, sir, thank you. Thank you for that, man. Love 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 it, dude. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, great I, answer, I, yeah. I was quite amused earlier as well. Like and this is another thing. Like a lot of these influencers. Um, by the way, a lot of these influencers like Fleur Eth, uh, just like engagement farmers, like. You know, don't worry about kind of shilling MPH to them. They don't really give a shit about anything but lining up their pockets. So, Fleur.eth is somebody who will charge five ETH a project to, to, to shill them. So, these individuals, and I know this is getting recorded, I don't care, but, um, you know, these individuals are not necessarily individuals who are good for space, who will fulfill their words and actually do anything positive for the space. So, just, just a shout out in terms of those individuals who are, you know, thanks for always kind of, you know, helping support and raiding threads. But yeah. people like that, yeah. people like that, are not necessarily, you know, the best individuals for the space. So just, just be, just be aware of that too. Yeah. And often, just, a, often a lot of these people are just engagement farming to get to get up their numbers. The, it's the bane. It's, it's the bane of crypto, Twitter, and NFT Twitter sometimes. Uh, but you know, it's it's the world we live in. All right, and I think with that, thank you six nine six seven for your very inspirational words. And I think with that, we are done, brother. All right, peace. Yeah. Appreciate all of you thank so you much. Guys. Love you guys. Thank you all so much for just being here with us all. We appreciate you all. Yeah, Jesus. We love peace you more, out. Man. Love your community. Yeah. See thank you. Guys. Thank you. I love you guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Peace. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we gotta, yeah, we gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get a recording of everybody saying this, and then we gotta, we gotta, we gotta use that as content. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Peace. Thanks, guys.